lately I've been getting into knowing my birds. So I'm going to read you a bird book. Field Guide to the Birds of Britain and Ireland. Field Guide to the Birds of Britain and Ireland. Contents of each bird. Hmm. Where shall we pick? Shall we do a falcon on page 68? Excuse the page turn. Almost at that number. Here we go. Oh, look at those beautiful birds. Okay. Oh, back on the golden eagle, I see. Hmm. Let's go for Hobby. Hobby arrives from mid April onwards, leaves mid autumn, where nests in woodland and around. Heffland, mainly in southern Britain, passage birds, more widespread confusion species crestral, and merlin gulls, similar to other small falcons. I hide, pressured, true to, mostly both sexes have a sharp, kitchet note, given in flight. Adult's head has a black Dark blue, grey upper parts, with a dark rings and tails, streaked underparts and underwings, tail bared with a red undertail, note for the red obvious trouser. A golden eagle. Adult birds here, beautiful, dark, golden manes, when seen well. An upper wing shows a distinctive pale patches across the converts. The tail is darker than the younger birds and part of the tail band. This sub-adult shows the distinctive shape of the species. Note bulging secondaries and longest tail complete with a dark tail band. Underwing shows dirty white patches, whiter and cleaner on Very large, long-winged, long-tailed bird. I don't show rather dark. This is a contrast under the underwing and undertail, but lacks the pale patches of younger birds. The golden eagle, eagle, eagle. The seagull. Breeding adults have a soft expression and a gentle looking black eye. The gleaming white underparts contrast with the grey underparts and upper parts. Note that the green yellow bill and the black legs breed on cliffs often in large colonies but winter out at sea. of common coal, but has a pale grey upper part and small black triangle on the ring tribes. They fly with swallower, shallower, stiffer beats than many eagles, appearing a little more torn than some. When breeding, birds return to ledges in early spring, year-round passage in autumn heavy. Where mainly at sea, but nests on steam, steep cliffs, rarely inland, storm driven, confusing species, sabine and common gull. Little gull call a noisy bird when on cliffs. A kitty wake is a neat, small to medium sized gull with small head. Longish wings. I'm loving this book on birds. Dum, 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 dum. This is all about the swan. 
Swans, Beeswig Swan, the Whooper Swan, Newt Swan. water and estuaries, often in parks and lakes, and also larches are confused in species, beeswick and whopper swans, the spoonbill in flight, only call mainly, heard in swing in spring. In the flight, mute swans look largest orange bills, even a long range. This wings Whistle in flight. The whopper in the middle are longer necked, and a large body is a base wick on the white. You may also see the difference in the pattern ever so slightly. One of the most familiar birds to be seen in Britain and Ireland, large white. With distinctive bills, adults are easy to identify. White plumage contrasts with their bill, orange, with a black tip and a large black knob on the forehead. And black holes. Beautiful. The whopper arrives in late autumn. Similar habitats of the swan, more common in Britain and Ireland. Swans. Three types of swans. Root swan, music swan, whopper swan. Tundra being the goose and a pink footed goose. Pink footed. Pink footed goose appears from September, leaves in early mid April, where coastal former farmland, eastern Scotland, Norfolk, and Lancashire. Dark brown. Contrasted with the greyish look wings, looking scaly due to the pilot tips and brown chest and flanks, a rare belly, and under a deep dark bill tip, a pinkish base, pink legs, the feet. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe for more content. There is also a Canada goose, a barnacle goose, a print goose. white. I don't know. Let's read, shall we? When I went to some early spring records where grazing areas shared by the coast marshes and fields in northern England, Scotland and Ireland. Mm. Approximately the same size as a pink-footed goose. They were entirely white, except for the black wingtip. Well, then they're not entirely white, are they? <laughs> black wing tips. tips. Triangular bill is pink with a black grinding patch. Rather than a small member of the group, but I'm mistaken, I've seen a dark colour blue snow goose. It sometimes appears a hybrid. An Egyptian goose. 
extremely dark, sandy brown, above with a dull, buff below, rather ugly looking face of white or grey with a dark eye patch, pink legs, rather than a black or ruddy windshield dog. A very curious looking bird, introduced from Britain and Africa during the 18th century, rather than both common and ruddy shell ducks. Fascinating. Large flocks in autumn, where they populate, more in southern England in smaller numbers. I think they're beautiful. Ducks. Beautiful colours. Pintail. Gorgeous. What it be like to fly in the sky? A simple life.